segment is brought to you by our partners at Meet Boston. There's always so much to do and see here in Boston, whether you're a local or a visitor. And sometimes you just need someone to point out the gems. That's and right. Anna's doing just that for us today with a special exhibit in Boston's theater district. Boston is home to so many wonderful traditions and legacies, and one of those is music. And one of the newest exhibits in town is the Folk Americana Roots Hall of Fame, right here at the Box Center Wang Theater, which we're so thrilled about, Joe. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. We're very honored to be doing this. You know, we started it in uh, prior to 2019, mm -hmm. and then when the pandemic came, we had to shut down for two and a half years, mm -hmm. and we waited and reintroduced ourselves last September. September and here we are with seven exhibits going at the time and it's been a wonderful thing. So tell me what people can can find when they come to the far half far excuse me, as you affectionately call it. They can find uh, the history of folk music and Americana music and roots music and blues music and hip-hop music and jazz and, you know, all of the genres of music that are out there mm -hmm. and uh, get a chance to see a Bob Dylan exhibit, which is here now, and, and there's many more places to go. And they take tours. They learn about the importance of music. Mm -hmm. And I think that music and arts uh, actually keeps us a civilized society, so we're trying to educate people that this is important. Absolutely. And some people may be wondering why Boston for this? Why why here? Well, as a folk singer myself, and a couple albums before my career went in this mm -hmm. direction, I've always said how many great artists came out of Boston mm -hmm. and called themselves home here. And it's just a remarkable that way. And then we had the luck, uh, Neil Young was playing here, and he got on stage and said to two sold out shows, I just want everybody to know that Boston is the capital of folk music in North America. And I said, Said, boy, we ought to just do the Hall of Fame right here. <laughs> and we did. And so what has the, the reception been from the music community to to this? Well, from the music community, everything that you see in, are in fact um, you know, archives from these musicians. And so we feel very comfortable that this is uh, really their Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. and we as the public get to enjoy that. And so there's guitars, there's records, there are cassettes, there's so many things, but it's more than just the things. It's an experience as well. Can you talk about uh, some of the things that you're doing to carry on this legacy. Well, I can, and uh, we're doing master classes with all of this. We're doing live streaming with all of this. Uh, you know, we we have the we're the only Hall of Fame uh, in the world to have an actual hologram, and uh, and the idea with that is every artist that comes in gets a chance to uh, uh, sit down in front of it, and we film them, and then you can share their stories forever. Mm -hmm. Right. So we got the idea from Steven Spielberg when the Holocaust. Museum and decided that we should be doing that in the Hall of Fame, and we are. Well, this is incredible, and I'm sure that people are going to want to visit, so how can they? Well, they can. They call. They can go on BuckCenter.org or mm -hmm. Farhoff.org. You have to book a tour. You get to go on stage. You get to go backstage. You get to see the dressing rooms. You get to see all the nine yards that goes into uh, a true performing arts center that has a Hall of Fame in it. All right, coming up.